Dollar Tree mason jars are great for canning, but they are perfect for crafting. They have two sizes, a large and a small one. For this first Dollar Tree DIY craft, we're going to start with three of these ping pong balls from Dollar Tree. I'm going to melt a hole on the bottom of one. I'm going to put in this skewer stick right through it. Then I'm going to poke another hole directly on the opposite side of the ball. And this is just going to create a place where I can thread the skewer stick right through. And because we are going to paint them, it's going to make it so much easier. I did the same thing with the other two balls and then we're going to start painting them in three colors. This is going to be a nice summer theme. It's going to be quite fun. We're going to use the first red and we're going to start doing what will look like little beach balls. I thought these were adorable. I am going to start painting the red stripe. I'm going to do the very best I can. It's not perfect, friends. I am never looking for perfection. I say that all the time. It does look like it's hand painted, but I'm okay with that. I'm going to start with the red one and move on to the yellow and then move on to the blue. I'm going to place them on this foam just so that they are not touching any surface and we are going to let them dry. We're going to take one of the smaller mason jars from Dollar Tree, remove the lid. We are not going to need that and remove the sticker from the bottom. We're going to also wipe it well to remove smudges and dust. We're going to take some white sand from Dollar Tree. We're going to fill in the jar about maybe two thirds high, give or take. Dollar Tree sticker aisle, it is awesome. I love all the selection that they have. And these summer ones are beautiful. I'm going to use the one that says summer and it already has the little sticky pads, but they weren't sticking because it is a rounded shape. So I did have to reinforce with hot glue and that also came off. So I ended up having to use some alien tape and I'll show you what alien tape is here in just a minute. I'm going to take the little beach balls. They are nicely dry and we're just going to drop them right in. They're going to be right there, ready to be played with in the sand. How cute. We're going to use some of these faux boxwood that I do get on Amazon. And I love the way this jar turned out. What an easy project. So easy. A little bit of painting on the balls. But I'd love to know what you think of this one. Let me know down in the comments. For this next Dollar Tree DIY crowd, we're going to start with a larger mason jar. Once again, remove the lid remove the sticker from the bottom and wipe it really well to remove dust and smudges. We're going to take it outside. We are going to frost it. We're going to use this frosted glass style spray by Rust-Oleum. I'm going to do one coat, but you can do as many as you want, depending on the look you are going for. While it's dry, I am going to go to my Cricut Joy Extra. We're just going to cut off a couple of actually three decals in the shape of fairies. These were in the design space by Cricut. And now that the jar is nicely dry, we are just going to attach them. Now, you can do four if you want, one for each side of the mason jar. I'm not going to do the one where I have all the measurements because it's just not going to stick well. So we're going to do three little fairies. I measured them and making sure that they are going to fit in each side nicely. And with some transfer tape, we are just going to attach them. So easy. Now, if you do not have a Cricut machine, that's okay. Use the carbon paper uh, technique that I have showed many times before. You can do that, or you can also use any other type of stickers you'd like. We are going to place the last little fairy right there on the side. And look how adorable this is already looking. Now we are going to add some fairy lights because they're fairy lights. <laughs> Anyways, I get these on Amazon. You've seen me use these before. They are my favorite. I do have them in my Amazon store. If you want to check them out, it is linked down below. I'm going to thread them right inside the jar right there. Now you can stop right here. You can drop the little battery pack, add the lid back on and call it a day. But I'm going to take it a little further. We're going to use some of this alien tape. Now this is the alien tape I was telling you. I get it on Amazon and it is in my Amazon store as well. It sticks really well to glass. So we're going to attach the battery using that. This solar light was left over from a video that I did recently. I removed the stick portion and we're just going to hot glue it to the top. This is going to add a little bit more ambience during the nighttime, and it's also going to just cover up that top portion. I'm going to use this burlap ribbon. It has a frayed edges, and I love it. I folded it in half, and I'm just going to attach it, wrapping it around the thread of the jar. And I got to say, the simplicity and the beautiful magical touch this jar has is so fun. What do you think of this one? For 
for this next Dollar Tree DIY crowd. We're going to start with three mason jars. These are on the larger side. We're going to remove the lid, remove the stickers, and wipe them really well. At first, I thought I was going to use three. I ended up changing my mind, but I'll show you what I did with the third one. All right, we're going to take them outside. We're going to spray them white. This is a semi-gloss white spray paint by Rust-Oleum. And we're just going to quickly spray them. I'm not looking for full coverage because we are going to give these a distressed farmhouse look. But if you do not like that style, by all means, just make sure you paint everything with a nice full coverage. While the white ones dry, we're going to take the third jar. We're just going to paint it blue. This is a beautiful ocean blue by Waverly Chalk Band. We're going to do a couple of coats and we're going to let that dry. Dollar Tree has an entire selection of vinyl and we're going to take a piece of one of their white ones. We're going to cut it off just enough to give me enough room. We're going to use this star shaped hole puncher. It comes in a set of six. I get this on Amazon and I do have them in my Amazon store as well. I'm going to remove the little cap from the bottom just so that I don't have to keep removing it to empty it out. And we're just going to start cutting off some stars. Now this is going to be in the American style, more patriotic style, but you can use any style you want, you can get the idea, maybe use your own flag, whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to keep punching the stars and then we are going to put them to the side just briefly because we are going to work on the white jar. Again, we went from two to one because I just decided to change my mind. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to use some mask and tape from Dollar Tree. We're going to create some stripes to mimic the American flag. So I'm just going to add them to just, I don't know, leaving about the same amount size in between each. And then we're going to take Rust-Oleum Chalked Man in the Farmhouse Red and we're going to paint some stripes. Again, we're going to do, it's going to look like sloppy, but it's because I want a distressed look. So I'm doing a little bit more of a dry brush, but a little bit heavier. So we're going to do the in between the stripes as well as the bottom and the top. Removing the tape is always so fun and I love to do it when the paint is still wet. Don't know why, I just don't want it to peel on me. So we're gonna do that and then put that to the side. We're gonna go back to the blue one. It's nice and dry. We are going to distress it using the wet distress technique. You just basically add a little bit of uh, water onto a towel or a rag and then just remove some of the paint. Again, if this is not your style, I understand. It's okay, just leave it full coverage. We're going to start adding all the stars, just alternating them here and there until the entire jar is covered. I'm not going to do the thread because we are doing something different for that. So once it's completely covered, we are going to cover the top portion with some jute string. You can use whatever ribbon you want or you can leave it as is. It's up to you. I'm going to wrap it around several times and then we are going to attach it with glue. And then we're going to make a very simple bow using my fingers and more jute string. We're going to wrap it around my fingers a few times. And then we are going to fluff it up a little bit and glue it to the front of the jar. Now that the red and white jar is dry, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to wrap around some jute string to the top. Make a very simple bow around my fingers, tie it in the center with jute string. Then we are going to hot glue it to the front, cut off any excess jute string, and then that's it, my friends. How adorable is this? Again, it could be done with any style you want. I love the simplicity. You can use these for flower arrangement or even to put some plastic utensils. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we're going to take the leftover white jar and we are going to have some fun. This is going to be such an easy craft anyone can do. These little rub-on transfer stickers are from Dollar Tree and we're just going to start cutting them one by one. So much easier to attach when they are separate. We're going to start attaching them in no specific pattern. I'm just going to make sure that no similar design is next to each other. That's it. Now the glass is still a little tacky to the touch. So it made the transfers attach perfectly and extremely easy. Not, I don't recommend it. If it's tacky, just let it dry. I was a little impatient, but it did work out because it helped me attach these so easily. And again, I'm just gonna do it all around the jar.
how easy is this oh my word okay so we're going to take this beautiful ribbon from um i think this is from burletfabric.com we're going to wrap it around the thread adding glue here and there to secure it in place i do want it to overlap the edge of the thread on purpose so whatever you want to do it's fine we're going to cut off the excess and we're going to add some beautiful really beautiful flowers to it just complementing the entire design but how easy was this craft i love the way it turned out so feminine what do you think let me know down in the comments for this next dollar tree diy crowd we're going to take this laminating sheet and one of the insides of the lids. We're gonna trace four of them onto the outside of the laminating sheet. We're gonna use a permanent marker because it just seemed to work best. And then once there, we are gonna take some dry flowers. I got mine from a maker studio, but if you don't have them, Amazon does carry wide a selection of these. And I have these in my Amazon store if you wanna check it out again, linked down below. We're gonna open up the laminating sheet and we're just gonna start placing whatever flowers I want to make sure that they are inside the circle and then they're not overlapping the circle. And that's very important. Okay, so we're just gonna start adding different flowers to each one, again, staying as close to the center as possible. Once I had them where I wanted, I'm just gonna close up the laminating sheet and we are going to place them inside the net laminator. I got this one on Amazon as well, not expensive at all. And I love crafting with laminating sheets. We're gonna press it through twice. Don't ask me why, I think once it's okay. I like doing twice. And making sure that those flowers are nicely set. All right, we're gonna start cutting off each circle. Now you may have to trim here and there to make sure they fit inside each lid, but it's up to you. We're gonna add a little bit of hot glue. Now be very careful, these lids got hot with the hot glue. I'm not talking about a little hot, like really hot. So be very, very careful when you are doing this. Once you add the glue, we're just gonna add one of the circles inside each lid. And I love these, these are little sun catchers. They can also be ornaments. I can see something like this for Christmas. I love the idea. And to be able to hang them, we're just gonna use some of this baker's twine, but you can use your string, ribbon, whatever you have on hand. I'm gonna wrap it around maybe once or twice. And then on one of the loops, we're just gonna leave a little loop, just like this. We're gonna hot glue on the sides and this is just gonna be able to hang it. Now, these are not heavy pieces, so a little hot glue goes a long way. And then wrap it around one more time just to secure everything in place. And I'm gonna do the same thing on all three other lids. we're just about done with this one my friends what a great way to use these lids gorgeous designs i love these little dry flowers and it doesn't have to be even flowers you can use stickers or whatever you want let me know what you think of this one down in the comments i have another video here for you with tons more of dollar tree diy crafts inspiration check it out I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.